All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So you guys have spoken, and you guys have Gladiator Beast. I have never played Gladiator Beast before, so hopefully I don't fuck this up, but uh, uh, I was talking to Renny, and he said that using the deck is not too complicated, so crossing my fingers and hoping that, you know, everything will be okay, because if not, I'm going to be straight up fucked. So I'm actually playing the Card of Demise version, and it looks like I opened up pretty shit. Like, I, I drew him into my two Dariuses, so that, that's fucking awesome. Uh, that I, all I got is my War Chariot. At least War Chariot's not terrible, but, you know, it's not the greatest of hands right now, I, I must say. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and grab you, and then maybe my Darius will survive, maybe. <laughs> like, I drew into my Darius, I drew into my one, uh, Equest, I think that's his name. Like, fucking, not the greatest of hands for Glads, so. I thought I wanted to go first and set it up with Card of Maya as the back row and all of that, but no. <laughs> so all I got is this War Chariot, so hopefully that I mean that gets to life. And then I can't go into my one, I only run one quest, I can't tag it into my quest as a quest, so yeah, I'm probably doing that wrong. I should probably run two requests, like god damn it, god damn it, I'm just playing this deck wrong. Just playing it wrong. I mean, if this duel goes fine, I'll probably keep, I'll keep it, but if it goes fucking I mean, if it goes right, I'll keep it. But if it goes wrong, god damn, I'm just drawing all my monsters. I literally run like, like, eight monsters? Well, come on. <laughs> just keep drawing in my fucking monsters. Like, wow. So, I could, you know, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and summon Bastari and then tag in to, and go into fucking Gazaris and pop your fucking set cards. Like, if you're not gonna fucking do anything, then it, I'm just gonna fucking Gazaris your ass. Like, you definitely, if you had it, you should've came out from my Gazaris. Ah, see, I knew about the whole set thing. So we'll go into Gazaris, it'll pop two of your cards, so at least this might go okay. I mean if I get hit with Solemn Strike, I get hit with Solemn Strike, so rip on that, right? Like I can't I can't fucking control that. So I guess go ahead, of course. <laughs> fucking Solemn Strike, like Solemn Strike it can easily be the bane of this deck's existence too. It's kinda like a ritual beast. Like I contact and then you still hit me with a fucking inherent something. I still take the neg, I still shuffle my monsters back. So that 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 that's just rip. That's just rip. Multiple solemn strikes. Like, of course he gets the strike. I don't get. I didn't get the strikes. I took a neg on that one. I was like, if you're not gonna do anything, then I'm just gonna fuck you up. But nope. <laughs> He's like, no, I got the strike. Like, okay. I wonder if he has multiple strikes. Like, if it was just one solemn strike, I'd be okay. But it's probably multiple. So fucking rip. You know. Anyway, like, we still have way too many fucking monsters for Carter to mine. So that ain't gonna be a thing. Uh. I think I'll just go ahead and summon a quarry tack and then hopefully tag out into a uh into Bastari to pop one of your set cards. If not, then rep again if I get hit with another Solemn Strike. <laughs> like and if it's a monster I can't handle, I do run Romello so I can tag out to him and then they can pop the monster if need be, so. Never mind, he's gonna go ahead and special summon a level two or lower warrior monster from his deck and face down defense position. Okay. So so if this card is just short battle, you special summon one level two or lower. Is that even worth a war, tri war chariot? I don't think it's worth the war chariot. Like, <laughs> it's not even. So you look at the title and you're saying 95%. Yes, people, we are 95% done with daily duels. At episode 1000. Some people are asking me, they're like, are you are you positive on this? Are you definitively sure? I am sure. At episode 1000, daily duels will be over. Um, that's not really a threat or anything. So they say if you're just going to summon another one, I'm just going to then do the battle phase. I'm just going to tag out into Bastari and pop one of your back row. I'm gone. Do you send back for cost? In that battle phase, this card is attack or attack. You can shovel this card back in your deck, semicolon. Yep, that's the cost, so he can strike me from within the deck. <laughs> from within the deck. So, then some Bastari, Bastari, pop one in your back row. And then I'll get hit with another Solemn Strike, right? Which I guess wouldn't be terrible. No, it's a Quaking Mirror Force. Goddamn. Alright, so I need, still need to get these fucking glads out of my hand, like... I'm, I'm drawing so many glads, like... I, I, I've never played the deck before, but I don't think you want to draw into a handful of monsters. <laughs> that sounds bad. It's like, oh yeah, I drew into a fucking shit ton of monsters, you know the monsters I want to tag out into? Yeah, I drew into them. <laughs> so rip on that. Oh no, not Supply Squad. Great, great. So if not, he was going to take the neg on the fucking trooper. No, he's not going to take the neg. Like, I'm definitely going to fucking contact again. Like, you're, you're getting contact. And if I get hit with the fucking Solemn Strike again, then fucking rip. But you're definitely getting contact again. So. Because I already know. Fucking Gazaris is like 
the fucking the card for tagging out. Like guys, Arnas is crazy good. It's a pop pop. Is it another strike? Maybe. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, it's a twin twisters. But you even want to pop my fucking set card? I guess you were like, oh, he's not really doing anything yet. Like, nigga, this is a war chariot. What you know, what you know about this fucking war chariot, boy? So, all right, I got the Gazaris. I can attack your monster. But what the fuck do I tag out into? <laughs> like, like what, the, what the fuck do I tag out into? I'm kind of lost now. <laughs> I got this far. <laughs> So, I, Gazaris can attack, I can I can War Chariot, and then I can tag out into uh, a quest, and he can grab back my War Chariot, that wouldn't be terrible. I think I, think I can do that. I said, I'm not sure what I'm doing anymore. So I'll War Chariot you, and then at the end of the battle phase, I can have my Gazaris tag out and separate into two, and I can separa separate out into a quest, and I guess it'll quarry. Yeah, sure, why not? Actually, you know, I probably should have separated it out into a Bastari. That way I can contact again immediately next turn. Yep. All right. Live and learn. Living on the edge of tomorrow. Live and learn. Yeah, you know, you know the song. So I can grab back my War Chariot. Awesome. The problem with grabbing back my War Chariot is that he know now he knows that I have a fucking War Chariot. So I believe I can go into Mr. Handicap fucking Esadari. Like he's, he's handicapped. That's why he doesn't pack out or have an effect. Because he's handicapped. See, he's in a wheelchair. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's probably kind of offensive. Yeah, I probably should have went out to a Bastari. That was dumb on my part. Oh, rip. I've been learning. All right, yep. Because if I went out to a Bastari, then I could attack the Bastari again next turn. All right, all right. All right. I'm, learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. So it shouldn't have been Lakari. It should have been Bastari. The, the quest is fine, but the Lakari wasn't even necessary. <laughs> what is this man playing? Like, I don't even know what the fuck this guy is playing. Like, he hasn't really done anything. Okay, and he just scoops. Okay. So, I learned a lot from this door. I fucked up, but in the end it wasn't terrible, so I'm gonna go ahead and learn, tweak something real quick. Alright, so, learn from my mistakes and get better with this deck. I had an entire month to learn Glad. It's like, I heard you guys are just sitting there shocked, like, you never played Glad? Like, no. <laughs> I've never played Glad in my life. Like, I, I know how powerful they are, and I know their legitness, I just never dueled with them, so. Wow, damn, he surrendered immediately. He saw the glides and he's like, hell no, to the no, no, no. Like, okay. <laughs> the glad hatred is real. All right, we'll get another duel. Be right back. Damn. All right, let's duel again. <laughs> damn, he quit immediately. But I don't blame him. Like, he didn't even know the rest of my hand. My hand was kind of stupid. Like, it really was. Did he make me go first? He did. Ew. I'm not going to do anything. So I'm going to call the haunted just in case, but I'm not going to do anything. The reason why we're doing it in Call of the Haunted is because I'm going to carbonize. So if I carbonize the multiple monsters, I can at least Call of the Haunted and then tag into that monster. Uh, tag into my fusion monster. If I'm going to go all out with the carbonized uh, variant of Glads, I should probably play the Call of the Haunted just to grab back the monster. And if it's in the graveyard, then just go in the battle phase and I won't think anything of it. Then I can call the Haunted to one of my Glads and then attack and then fuck you up. So, Alright. Well, this isn't... Terrible, at least. It's just I drew into my one Romello again, so can't tag into a monster that I have in my hand. Like maybe I should just run Tula every Glad. That way, I never draw into anything. I always have a different copy of what I want in my deck. Like maybe I should just do that. Maybe. So I think about just summoning a quest and then attacking into his monster. And if I kill it, awesome. If not, then I could just tag into a star and pop one in the back row. That's what I'm thinking right now. Like, I, I can kind of go in. I got the Forbidden Lance. I learned that from Rennie. Rennie was like, run Forbidden Lance. <laughs> so, I can attack, and if you try, you know you always want to stop me a battle trap, I can just be like, nope, block. Attack goes through, and then you get fucked up. Oh, it's your doll monster. Well, I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. You flip before I fucking, uh, before I, uh, do this, so. But I have called the Haunted. Ah, ha! So because I have Call of the Haunted, I can activate Call of the Haunted, attack your ass again, and then tag out. Like, no, nigga, you getting this. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. And you guys thought I was running Call of the Haunted. I was being fucking crazy. <laughs> Get fucked. End the battle phase. I will go ahead and tag out. And I'm going to tag out into Bastari. Pop one of your set cards. Fuck it. Why not? Why the fuck not? Really? And I got that Forbidden Lance that can protect me from you next turn. Pop that set card. You don't need that. You don't need this card. Right? 
I don't know what it is, but you don't need it. Oh, okay. now it's a strike? Like, of course, of course. Now, now it's a solemn strike. That's fine, that's fine, because you know what? I got another Call of the Haunted, so I could play Call of the Haunted, summon my Bastari back, summon my Mermello, tag out into Geysers, and pop your shit again. Like, I'm just, like I said, I don't mind one Solemn Strike, but when it's at multiples, when it's at fucking three Konami, like, please. Like, I didn't predict that, I mean, my new, my latest banlist prediction, uh, Ronnie talked me out of it, I thought, I was gonna say that, predict that they're gonna put it down to two, but it's in that pin. It's, it's, it's such a money card, they're probably not going to end up hitting it, you know? And it's not like it had a major factor on the worlds or anything like that. They're probably not hitting it, even though they should. And then maybe after that, they'll start putting down a 2 and a 1. But god damn, multiple strikes. Multiple fucking strikes. The card is so fucking powerful. So fucking powerful. No, I'm good. So, I wonder if I can handle the situation without the using Call of Hunt. It really depends. No, no, I don't think I want to do that. I think I want to pop them while they're set. Yeah, I think I want to pop them while they're set. So, I don't have to call the Haunted. Go ahead and send them back. The Starry, unless you stop me. <laughs> then I can set the Mermelo tag down to Kazaris. Pop your two set cards. Because it's a it's doll. Their flip effects are scarier than their sending effects. Much scarier. Or he could just play Signature Shadow Games now. Like, all right. I guess he's like, oh shit, I'm better activated now, even though I only get my effect when I'm special summoned by the effect of a battery or beast. But he doesn't know, so. Yep. Shin Shishella Games, go ahead and flip that up. Send that. Okay. So then, you know, flip this up and then return my Bastari back to my hand? Like, is that what you're gonna do? Like, that's what you wanna do! So, beast effect, dragon effect. Yeah, you're actually gonna return the Bastari back to my hand. Sure. <laughs> sure. Like, you can have that, that ain't what I'm mad at. Wow, give me my Bistari back with Straw Dragon. Alright. So, I'll just kill you and then tag that back out. Tag my Mermelo back out. Uh. I mean, there's really nothing to grab back. It's not like I can quest with War Chariot. There's nothing in my graveyard for Darius. So, I guess when in doubt, just go for Akari. Because at least it'll be a 2100 beater. <laughs> I don't really want to do this play yet. Like I'm just gonna set this, and just in case he does this play, I'll do it. But right now, I'm, I'm sitting. I'm sitting okay. Like I don't have anything from an extra deck, so you can't just fucking Shadal fusion me. It seems like you're kind of taking it slow. I should have set the lance. Should have set the lance. Oh, it Shadal trains. It's trained Shadals. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely should have set the lance. Oh, he's just gonna straight up Shadal fusion now. Okay. She can now go into NXC, so she trains your dolls. Okay. Yep. Should have set the Forbidden Lance. And he's gonna get me either way. Just go XC these two in the door, or are you gonna keep them like that? Nope, nope. You don't go in the door. Alright. Damn, Dora, Dora's a fucking bitch for this deck. <laughs> like. I'm thinking maybe. I'm trying to think how, how I can get out of this situation. Dora is a fucking bitch for this deck. <laughs> fucking strong ass Dora makes itself unaffected by card effects. Like, what do I have to fucking handle that? Utopia the Lightning. <laughs> I just thought of it like right now. It's like Utopia the Lightning. Like, yeah. Yeah. I have Utopia the Lightning. I could go into that like right now, too. Uh, I could just summon Bastari, XE these two, and Utopia the Lightning and tack over your ass, but. He already has Shadal Fusion. I'm not sure if he has another Shadal. And he added, he added Night Express Knight. Possibly he can go for another train. Uh, am I running Ray with it too? I am. I am running Ray with it too, so I can get double. You know what? Then I, then I can put this card in the graveyard. And then when it's like Sea Material, I can put it in the graveyard. And then I can summon it back with Darius. Because I can get Proven Grounds or whatever. Tack and then Proving Grounds into and then tack down to Darius. Darius will summon back on Bastari. Deal with that. I'm just worried that he might have another Shadal Fusion. Like if he has another fucking Shadal Fusion, then fucking rip. Like that. That's the biggest biggest worry right now is having yet another Shadal Fusion. And cries for Utopia the Lightning. Like what the f like Dora would be a son of a bitch to deal with if he didn't have this. And this card says when it sends from the field to the graveyard. 
Should I believe it's when it's sent from the field to the graveyard, then you get to go ahead and target it. Like, this card is sent. No, it just says this card is sent to the graveyard, period. But I'm using Utopia the Lightning, which means that you can't activate. Because I believe you're going to get detached in the material. Like, I think. It says if it's this, this card is sent to the graveyard, period. That's crazy. It's crazy. I thought it was if this card is sent it from the field to the graveyard. Like, nope, just sent to the graveyard, period. Like, oh, okay. Please don't have another Shadow Fusion. Please don't have another Shadow Fusion. Please don't have another Shadow Fusion. Crossing my fingers. Crossing my fingers. Or he, or he can have just the fucking Night Express Knight Derek. Like, goddamn, he's got Night Express Knight and Derek Crane and all that shit, and he has not played his field spell. Like, that's that's pretty strong. That's pretty strong. So now he could just go into yet another door. Huh? No, he's gonna go into Spider. He's gonna go into Spider. Fuck me up. All right. Spider again? Really? So you're gonna go into Spider. Go into Spider. Then, do you even detach to activate your effect? Okay, then you're gonna come after me, but you know that I did Ray, so I can use my effect. But your effect to survive is continuous, so. Yeah, you're still good. Yeah, you can just detach to stop yourself from being destroyed. So rip on that. Once per turn, you can attach two mixers from this card, banish as many special monsters your opponent controls as possible. Like, I don't like that you did that. That play wasn't the greatest of plays, so... The problem is that now I gotta deal with this fucking giant-ass spider. Can I go into... Can I attack, go into Darius, and then main phase 2 go into, like, Castell or something? I'm hoping I can do that. <laughs> like, I'm gonna be taking a shit ton of damage here, but I'm hoping that I can do that. That'd be nice. Uh... Who's the strongest? Dar but Darius can't direct tag in Darius, so yeah, a quest. But I gotta survive the battle. That's right, I gotta survive the battle. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Where's my Wabaku? I can grab Icarus attack. Like, I can grab Bastari and I can Icarus attack. I forgot I have to survive the fucking battle. Like, no, no, no. I can just tag out whenever the fuck I feel like it. Like, no, no, it doesn't work like that. Uh, give me Wabaku. Lance. Cardamize Chariot. Thinking Cardamize. Can summon my monster. Cause I'm not sure if I'm gonna get much use out of Chariot. Yeah, Cardamize. Like how? Like fucking shit that can't be destroyed in this fucking deck is just fucking terrible to duel against. Oh, I can set my monster. I have to have pot already. And card to my drawn to two more cards, but I'm just not sure if I want to do that right now. I just I just think I'm gonna hold off. Like, fucking of course. Fucking trains, they bust out them beaters though. Like <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. Dragon, target one of my spells or traps, destroy it. Not that it makes much of a difference. You're gonna pop the call of the hunted that was attached to nothing into the, instead of the two set cards that were actually a threat. Alright. If I lose this duel, like, <laughs> I'll lose to someone who's not even good. <laughs> All because I can't fucking deal with a fucking 4,000 monster that can't be destroyed by card effects. Ah, shit. You know what? Maybe I should have got a fucking War Chariot. You know, if I would have got War Chariot, then I could have fucking. Survive this, like, all right. I guess I'll go ahead and activate for Ben Lance. You're gonna pop it, at least drop down your attack so I take less damage. I was thinking about grabbing that War Chariot, but I didn't think you were gonna activate your effect. There's really no point for Seven Sins to activate the effect right now, but all right. Well, at least you set a monster, so now I have something to tag out to with Daria, so that's actually not too terrible. It's just the question of whether I will survive. 
So I have the card demise and the pot play, but I think I want to kind of push. I think I want to go summon a quest, a quest, attack into your set card. Hopefully, it's something that I can survive until the end of the battle phase. Tag out into Darius. Darius, summon back the Bastari from my graveyard. Go into uh, to my geyser. So and then I do have the Icarus attack. So Falco. Okay. So that's not too terrible. You know, some beast. Well, Poppin' Beast, his, his, uh, we know that his graveyard effects is not as bad as flip effects, so it'd be better when I tie down to, uh, Darius, and Darius will summon and pop those two, I mean, my, uh, Zarus will pop those two. So, yes, I'll go ahead and summon Starry. Like I said, I do have Icarus attack, so. Your effect is mandatory, but your effects are negated, so it doesn't even matter. Alright, so. So I could go into Castell right now, but I think I'm okay. I think I can handle this situation. Yeah, because I want to pop the beast. I don't want to allow him to keep that. So you need to go back. Summon Karzaris. Karzaris, pop. Pop. And I do have the strike, too. The song strikes. That's nice. We still get his effect. I get to go ahead and draw a card. No, nothing for that. I'll set the strike. I guess I could set the pot in the... the nah. If he, if he gets Twin Twister, then I'll just be fucked. I'm gonna set the pot as a bluff. Actually, no, I probably shouldn't set the pot. probably should set the card of demise, because he doesn't know that I have it. But we'll see how deep he goes in. Or he can get Soul Charge. Or, or, he, can, or he can get Soul Charge. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> so I'm definitely gonna have to fucking Icarus attack whatever he summons a soul charge, because I think he's probably gonna try to go for another rank 10 play. If he does for that, so I'm gonna Icarus attack, I'm gonna pop my Grizzaris, I'm gonna pop his seven sins, and pop his whatever he summons. God, he's just going all in with the fucking light points. Alright, so. So who's the scariest one here? The spider sucks because he can go into another fucking spider. God fucking damn it. Fucking soul charge. But he can't attack this turn, so that's good. So since he can't attack this turn, if I Icarus attack, I can Icarus attack. God damn it. God damn it. I can Icarus attack you and you, because you two are the biggest threat. No, you and you. You and you. Then you will go off, and then I can strike you. And then our life points will be closer to where the spider isn't much of a, isn't as big as a threat, but he's still boosting. Like, I, oh my god. Like, you're a threat, you're, like, all the cards that he soul charged are a fucking threat. Like, of course, they're all a fucking threat. Ah. <laughs> uh... yeah, I'm gonna do this. So, you're a threat, and you're a threat. Cause your boost, your boosting fucking sucks. Like I don't even think I could survive a fucking battle because of your boosting. But you know, you won't be a boot, you won't be as a threat after I hit, I throw a solemn strike. That'll be at least a little bit closer to our life points. <sighs> yeah, I think I want to get rid of you. And when I get, if I get rid of you, then you of course activate your fucking stall, your shiki naga, and then I can strike that. And then we'll be a little bit closer in life points. God damn it. This duel is fucking frustrating. Now you're 24. Maybe if I can get, like, Wabaku from Ben Lance or something like that. Like, you only have 900 life points. Like, if I could just fucking get out two monsters to go into, like... I, I know I'm running Heartland Draco. If I could just go into Heartland Draco and go for a game. Like... Oh, my God. Alright, so... It's a pot first. Why is this duel so fucking terrible? Alright. This is only that. Even if I get Forbidden Lance, do Card of Demise. I'm not planning on special summoning anyway. I think I'm gonna grab the Wab Wabaku, and then hopefully I'll Card of Demise into a. a Glad. The chances are pretty high, man. I'm drawing three fucking cards, so. Ugh, 
cardamize into a cardamize. Awesome. Well, you know, at least I can keep everything, so that's not terrible. So I'll just end up setting everything. Uh, what do I have in my grave? I still have a Lakari. I might be able to do this. I might be able to do this. So, I just went straight up plus off of that, so that's great. So then when he attacks into me, I can just play my Wabaku, block his attack, tag out, tag into... Never fucking mind, he top decked fucking... Oh my god. Of course, of course he top decks into Regeki. Oh! Fuck me. <laughs> of course, of course he top decks into Regeki. God fucking damn it. Ah, uh, that fucking sucks. <laughs> I wanted him to attack into my glad so I could tag out. No, nah, no. Nah. Nah, he's gonna fucking literally just fucking top deck in Regeki, of course. Oh, play well with I'm not gonna take any damage this turn. So I got at least one more turn, I still got another card to demise, so. God damn it. <laughs> so I need to get another Glad and another fucking <laughs> Wabaku. Like, fuck. <laughs> Alright, well, I got the Glad, so I can just summon that. Like, of course, of course he top decks into fucking Regeki. Like, wow. Wow. <sighs> Good. I top decked into it. I, I drew into it. <sighs> I'm wondering if it's worth Twin Twist during that set card. I don't think so. Not right now. I already have the Twin Twister. I can pitch the Twin I can Twin Twister, pop the set card, take the nag. Set another card. I got that. I'm going to Twin Twister, pop a set card. Pitch the Blur Chariot for right now. Pop, pop the call haunted because it's gonna stick there, and then I'll have yet another set card just in case he sets. I have another set card. Okay, I'm thinking it's just gonna be another sinister shadow game. Set that. So, oh my god, like <laughs> the fucking Regeki almost fucked me, people. Like it almost fucked me. Again, them trains though. Them trains. No, go ahead and declare your attack. Alright, now since you declared your attack, now, oh, okay. Alright, I think I might have you. So, once it's not dead, I can't die, I'm good. And at the end of the battle phase, I tag out, I tag out into Darius. Darius will summon me back to Akari from my graveyard. Then I can just go into Heartland Draco and attack you directly for game. Next turn. Oh, I think I might have this, people. I think I might have this. I know he's sitting there like, what the fuck? Like, no, nah, I'm like, nah, I'm okay right now. No. Nope. Uh, yep, I think that's GG. So, XCU2 and Heartland Draco. GG. Uh, GG. That was a good game. That was a good, that was a, that was a tough one. That was a tough one. That really made me think for a person who never fucking plays with guy. Them called the Hunters were coming in fucking hella fucking clutch, though. Hella fucking clutch. GG. Did you up with that GG? Alright, and I will attack directly for game. Alright, so there we go. Woo! Woo! <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> Thank you, Card of Eyes. You're so broke. <laughs> Thank you for allowing me to draw into three cards. <laughs> Cause that saved my ass drawing into them fucking Wapakus. Holy shit. <laughs> All right, people, we we are done with this episode of uh, of Daily Duels. So, like I said, ninety five percent done. Fifty more episodes, and we'll be done with Daily Duels. Uh, uh, how the channel's gonna go? Like I said, the channel changes will come after Daily Duels is over. Still talking, discussing, working out some channel changes, and like I said, I'll probably put up a poll and ask for your guys' opinion when we get closer. It's not until November. Um, I am going to uh, enter the next great Yuki Super Season 4. I'll attempt to set my invention video. I have a script uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, well, today that you're seeing me. So I'll record this script, record the video, put the invention video. Hopefully, I'll get accepted. If I get accepted, then no matter what, I'm going to put Yu Gi Oh! Draft League Season 2 on hold until I'm done with that, you know, because it'll be too difficult to work on that and work on that and work on school and work on YouTube. Like, it'll be too much. So. 
uh, that if and only if I get accepted, if and only if how long I, you know, continue on. But that was a good duel. That was a good duel. It was a hard one. It was a tough one. It was a toughie. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. If you guys have any suggestions on how to play Glides better, or just be better in general, I apologize that I was just so fucking terrible. But uh, if you guys can give me any suggestions, that would be really appreciative. So thanks for watching. Thanks for support. You know, I don't think I'm going to mind Glides here on Daily Duels for next month. You guys voted on it. It was unanimous. And uh, we'll, we'll have fun with it. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Double Daily Duels. Deck profile for Destiny Heroes. And then I'll be tagging with Zephyrus. So we'll see how that goes. All right, people. Thanks for watching.